Number 35, letter A. What is the average power consumption in watts of an appliance that uses five kilowatt hours of energy per day? All right, so uh, let's use dimensional analysis here to try to help us calculate, all right? And a good strategy to employ here is to always focus on the goal, meaning how, what do we wanna calculate? We wanna calculate watts, okay? So somehow we have to calculate watts when we are given this value with its units and this value, okay? So how do we do this? Well, let's first write down uh, one of these values. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, I'll start with this one, all right? So let's write that down. So we got five uh, kilowatt hours, kilowatt time times hour, okay? Now I know that I need my answer in watts. So somehow I gotta get rid of kilowatts and get watts there. All right, so that's my first focus. So I'm gonna put kilowatts on the bottom, watts on the top. I know that there's a thousand watts and a kilowatt, and the reason why I do that is so I can cancel these watts. So now if I were to do that, my answer would be in watt hours, right, in watt hours. But I don't wanna, I don't wanna know watt hours, I wanna know just watts. So what does that mean I gotta do and figure out how to cancel? I have to figure out how to cancel the hours, right? So how am I gonna do that? Well, the other time value they gave us here was per day. They gave us the day value. So basically I gotta take one day, all right, and convert that into hours. And this is easy, right? You know that there's 24 hours in a day. So this is the setup for it, but it's easy. All right, the days cancel, leaving you with 24 hours. Now the question is, whoops, the question is now, where should I put this value that I just found, 24 hours, where should I put its value in this fraction here so that it cancels this unit. We'll realize that this particular unit is really in the numerator, right? Because I could put that over one. So if I need to cancel hours and it's in the numerator, guess where this baby's gonna go? It's gonna go in the denominator, right? 24 hours down here. And we're gonna put a one at the top just as a placeholder. So hours go bye-bye. And guess what we are left with now? The only unit that's left is indeed watts, okay? And that's just what we wanted, all right? So it's a nice technique. Dimensional analysis is sometimes a little hard to calculate, or not really, no, it's not hard to calculate. It's hard to set up, all right? But it actually makes your calculations very easy once you learn how to set it up. Anyway, uh, multiply the five by 1,000, divide it by 24, and we get a value of 208, whoops, not 280, 208, 208 watts. Okay, that would now be the answer for letter A. Great. Let's now take a look at letter B. All right, so it says, how many joules of energy does this appliance consume in a year? All right, so first thing is, let me ask you, what is a watt? Well, a watt is really a joule per second, right? It's the amount of energy consumed per second. So how did I know that? Well, you can look over here, right? The watt is a unit of power, and look at this power uh, equation right here. Power, as it's told to us by this equation, is the work divided by time. What's the unit for work? Joule. What's the unit for time? Second. So, like I was saying, the watt here is really a joule per second. So what I'm gonna do is let me Write it down here, so let me write it in a different color. So 208 watts is literally the same thing as 208 joules per second. Great, now notice, what is the question asking me? The question is saying how many joules of energy? So look at what I'm starting with down here. I'm starting with joules per second, and I only wanna know joules. So guess what I have to do to these seconds somehow? Somehow they have to go bye-bye. So how am I gonna cancel that time? Well, I must have been given a time somewhere and oh my goodness, we were, right? There it is. So how many joules of energy does it consume in a year? So we know that this appliance consumes this many joules per second. So I wanna know now how many joules it consumes per year. So we just gotta get rid of the seconds on the bottom and replace it with year. So this is a conversion we've done many times, seconds on the top. We can go right to hours, okay? This is a nice simple thing, 3,600 seconds in an hour. So that takes care of the seconds. Then I go to hours and day, because I know that there's 24 hours in a day, so the hours cancel. 
And then I can finally go to year because I know that there are 365 days about in one year. So the days cancel. All right. And now when I do the math, guess what I'm left with? Joules per year. And that's what I wanted to know. How many joules does the appliance consume in a year? So 208 times 3600 times 24 times 365 comes out to be, and we'll do three six figs. So 6.56 times 10 raised to the, just give me a second, just got to count. For some reason it's not, so it looks like times 10 to the nine, right? Let me just double check that. It's not putting it in scientific for me right now. So we got three, six, nine. Yeah, times 10 to the nine. And that is now in terms of joules, okay? And you can leave a joule per year, all right? Because that year didn't cancel. That'd be your answer. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, please remember to subscribe and look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.